much. I can't talk anymore. Hi guys and welcome to day 10 of 12 days of Christmas. We have two more videos. Two. Video that you will see will probably be like somewhere in January, possibly April. I'm not promising anything. Today for the 10th video I thought that I'd do a favorites video. A favorites video of everything that not everything, but most of the stuff that I loved in 2016. I love watching favorites videos because I just, I enjoy seeing what people have been loving that month or that year. It's a way to get introduced to new products, to new books, to new movies, to things that you may have not known existed, and I love that. If you're just a curious person like I am, this video might be up your road. Uh, I will just get started. For TV shows, so this year I got introduced to Game of Thrones, and yes, I know I am late to the bandwagon. It's going, and it, it, it already passed me, it made another circle, and then it passed me, and it made another circle, and I'm just like trying to grab onto it, like at the end, getting dragged away. I hated watching it though. I like watched the first five episodes with this friend and I was just so bored out of my mind. There's just so many characters and so many storylines that it was just like too much and I was like literally exhausted and I was like I kind of just want to sleep right now and then I kind of just like stopped watching it for like a couple months I think and then I was like hmm I have nothing to do with my time maybe I can continue watching Game of Thrones on my own time in my bed where I can fall asleep and then when I got to season 3 episode 8 I believe is like the red wedding I was like holy shit this is crazy from season 1 and season 2 and a little bit of season 3 it was the slowest thing ever but then it picked up right after the red wedding so I was good after that another TV show that came out this year was Stranger Things and everyone loves it and I love it and if you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. Okay, so next are books. These are my three favorites. This is a young adult, the Maze Runner series by uh, James Dashner. I honestly loved it because it had so much action in it and that's the kind of thing that I need in a book. The order of the books is the Maze Runner, Scorch Trials, and the Death Cure. And then the Kill Order is a pre-sequel that has nothing to do with the characters within the Maze Runner, Scorch Charles, and Death Cure. Um, and then this one that came out this year, uh, The Fever Code, it's actually the story of how the maze was built. So this is a prequel to the Maze Runner series. I mean, the Maze Runner, technically. But The Kill Order was is definitely like a pre prequel. However, it's a really good series and I really highly recommend it. Th there's a trend going on here. I like to read books before, mov before the movies come out. The Girl on the Train is a lot better being read. You should definitely, it's, it's better being read than being watched because it is really slow in the beginning. Since it is a mystery novel, it's suspenseful. It, you, you kind of need to know all the things that you needed to know before you can solve the mystery, right? So when you're watching it, it's kind of like, oh my god, like, can we just hurry up and get to the action part? Um, so that's the kind of down part of the movie. That's why I didn't mention it. It is in my favorite books. I just could not stop reading it because of how it kind of hooks you onto this idea of that you just have no idea who that person might be or like how the girl died. Okay, and the last book I'm going to share with you is probably, you already saw it coming, is Me Before You. Louisa Clark. This character, I cannot, I, I can't really exactly relate to her, but then when you read it, you wish you were her because she's so fun, quirky, just so cheerful. I didn't know that I would be so into this book. I did not know that this would end up being one of my favorite stories. I cried like four times reading this. Bald at the end. If you hate cheesy romance, read this book because it is not cheesy. It's romance, but it's so not cheesy. And it's this year, me and my best friend Bethany, we kind of got carried away and we decided to just buy like a shit ton of Kylie's lip kits. So as you can see, I have organized mine. I have all my liquid lipsticks and 
lip liners on this side and then ColourPop is also one of my favorites of this year. The lip thing and the lip liquid stuff that became like a huge thing this year. I joined the bandwagon right when it came, just hopped right in. Another beauty product that I have been loving this year is Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced and then Bethany also tried it once and she fell in love with it so. So this one I have seen so many beauty guru youtuber girl person um, and it is the Smashbox, Smash, Smashbox, Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. It is a 15 hour wear hydrating and this is for me, I am a color uh, 2.1. Probably you've already seen this in my makeups video because it is the only foundation that I use. Like whatever those YouTubers say about this, even though those were sponsored. So I'm gonna tell you right now, this is actually really good. So the last category that we're gonna talk about today is fashion. This year I have been wearing more, more of this style sunglasses, like the little very mirror-like lenses. This one, actually, this is my second pair of the same type because I lost my first one. Cough, cough. I, I just, I love the whole like psychedelic vibe. And then these ones I got for free. Uh, these are rose gold, but it doesn't really look very rose gold in the camera. They're pretty funky. Super cool. Rose gold. Again, who doesn't love rose gold? Another thing that everyone loves were chokers. Um, I told myself that I would never wear a choker. However, it happened. However, I recommend you guys to please just go to Dollarama, buy a black string, and wrap it around your neck. <laughs> I think it was like earlier this year. Yeah, I bought this at Oak and Fort. It is my favorite thing in my wardrobe. It's this like heavy, thick cardigan from Oak and Fort. Did I already say Oak and Fort? I think I did. It was a little However, I decided to treat myself. Funny story though, I threw up on this jacket the day after I bought it. Um, I went to a party and I got way too drunk. Yay me! And <laughs> I threw up on this. Woo! Yeah, I was like all the way at the bottom. I also threw up in the Uber, but he didn't like charge me extra, which is great. Fun times. When was that? I think that was February. And it's just a really good like fall or like spring when it's not too cold outside. Last uh, thing that I want to share with you guys that I loved during 2016 was prob is probably Victoria's Secret. Just the Victoria's Secret in general and like Victoria's Secret slash pink. <sighs> I bought a lot of stuff from there. Their knockout leggings are the best leggings and the only leggings I wear, the only underwear that I own are from pink. Alright, so I hope you guys like that. I hope you guys like knowing what my favorites were of this year. I will try to leave all the links to all the stuff that I have talked about down below. If you haven't yet, please go check out my other videos, other nine videos that I have created. Um, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! I need to stop talking with my hands. Like, this needs to...